course of this year, we would take we would have like one or two week blocks every quarter where we could go off and do something on our own. I mean, they were approved, but you you know, you could go into the country. I had a good buddy who was he was actually a lawyer um, at. Uh, he went to Bolt. He was top shelf lawyer, and he was had Polish descent. He was Jewish, and he just he took off and traveled with a band of gypsies for two weeks. I mean, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, you could do all kinds of stuff. But one of the things I wanted to do was obviously get on these Arabian farms. So the first farm I went to was called Yanov Podlaski. It's a it's a one of the oldest Arab farms in Europe, and it was right on the Russian border. So I show up there. They put me in a dorm room. And I'm just, I, I want to see, you know, what their husbandry practices are, how they manage these horses, how basically things are done over there. And trust me, it's very different than the way things are done over here. But there was a gentleman there that was doing a research project. Now, I, I mentioned I already had a master's. I was really interested in research. So I strike up a conversation and I end up spending two weeks with this guy, helping him with this project that he was working on. And I found out during the course, first off, his English was flawless, perfect. So I just, you know, just fell back into my, into the English language. Um, he had just come back from Cornell. He was, and he, it turned out he was the dean of the vet school in Warsaw. And he, he, we got along really well. And he said, so on your next little two week trip, why don't you come up to Warsaw and spend a couple of weeks at the vet school? I said, all right, I didn't have anything planned. I said, giddy up, let's go. So the next rotation, I went up to the vet school in Warsaw and uh, spent two weeks. And at the end of that period, now the, the Europeans, their higher education is a little different than what we do here in the U.S. They, when they graduate from high school, they're about at the equivalent of a freshman in college here. So they've already had calculus, some of the gotcha. basic chemistries. So that, and what they do is they take an exam, all the high school students that want to go to university, because university over there is free, like a lot of European countries, something we don't have here or appreciate here. Uh, but there is a ranking system. So basically everybody lists what college or career they want to go into. So if it's medicine or engineering or whatever, then they rank and they just pull the people with the highest scores. The people with the lowest scores go into the military. So let's just say there is a lot of incentive to do well on these exams. Yeah. Um, but he said, you can take the exam, he said, but you've already got like six years of university. He said, the exam is not going to be hard for you. So took the exam, passed it. Um, and I got in and he said, okay, now I haven't told my parents any of this yet, but I love the country. The people were great. I just, it was great. I could now speak to the women. I knew how to get alcohol. I mean, it was, yeah, it was like, <laughs> you were set. I was set and it was really cheap to live over there. Really inexpensive. If you had American dollars, it was very inexpensive. Hmm. And the other thing, it was communist too. And I, you guys, I don't know. Yeah, because it would have still been. It was. St it was seventy-eight, yeah, right? It was the, hmm. the Berlin Wall came down in ninety, ninety-one, ninety. Or, Some, yeah. yeah, it was either ninety or ninety-one when Gorbachev. And it was. Oh, and the other thing that was interesting was like the first couple of days I was in Krakow. All of a sudden, like all the church bells are ringing and people are in the streets and they're crying and going crazy. And I said, what is going on? Pope John Paul II, who was Polish, uh, was, I don't I guess you're elected pope. Um, and his, he was Polish and his yeah. church was in his main church was in Kraków, in Krakow. So, and I'm like, well, this is weird because you're communist. Well, they're Catholic first. They're Catholic yeah. way before they're communist. They did, and this is, I, I'll get way off track here, but they hated the Russians. And this is, this is centuries of hatred, very similar to what's going on in the Ukraine right now. Mm -hmm. This is because they have fought literally for centuries. So there's this, this inbred hatred for the Russians. At the time, it was the Soviet Union, of which Poland was a part, but probably 3% of the population was in the Soviet, in the Communist Party, and the other 97% were Catholic. Um, so there were all these funny, these peculiar events that were going on. Um, 
but you know, I just from a historical and a socio political side, it was I, I thought it was all very interesting. And yeah, I should absolutely. preface this that I grew up in Woodstock, New York, if that gives you any indication of me. Um, yeah. uh, so, uh, so anyway, I did tell my parents, uh, they were shocked and into disbelief, but I said, look, I, I like it over there. I mean, I just love the country. It was beautiful. They had beautiful horses. The people were awesome. And so off I went to vet school. Now, the interesting thing about vet school there was, uh, now my Polish was good, uh, at this point. Uh, but vet school was, they taught in Latin. I mean, it was Latin. Now I, I didn't say prior to that, that I had had six years or seven years of Latin. Well, I went to a private school and then I even took some at university. So that was cool. I said, yeah, I mean, I, the Latin, I understood. So they spoke Latin. They spoke Latin in the scientific terminology. So all the terminology for everything medical was in Latin. The textbooks, everything when they got to a specific disease or a, 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 and and why was that? Old school. I mean, it was that. So why the, did anyone make that decision in the first place? It's because it had been that way forever. I mean, it's, so let me give you a couple of examples. I had some friends there that Americans that were in medical school there, when they would do rounds in front of the patients, they would speak Latin mm. because they didn't want the patients to know what they were discussing. Very weird. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Fauci should do that. Yeah, <laughs> good point. Good point. A man. lot of those guys. Yeah. A lot of so, those guys. But other things were like, you know, after going to university for so many years in the U.S., when I was over there, it was when a professor walked in the room, everybody stood up. Mm. That stuff doesn't mm. happen here. He'd turn around yeah. to lecture. You'd all sit down. If a professor walked down the hallway, you did not turn your back on him. You had to turn around and face if you were talking to friends or whatever in a hallway yeah. you had to turn around and face him like you're at the naval academy and like it kind of like yeah it was kind of like a military thing um exams this was the other interesting thing and i it took me a little while to get used to this but you would have your regular you know hourly exams at certain intervals all that did if you passed the exams would qualify you to take the final the final exam was oral you got dressed up in a suit and a tie and you went in and it was usually one professor and typically two students and he just light the fire and start grilling you and it was if you, yeah obviously they had your attendance record and your all your your exam scores if you were a marginal student they would just basically find the spike and drive it into your heart i mean i saw people <laughs> would come out crying i'd come out you'd sweat through a suit anyway so that was the school, and I loved it. During the course of that, when I was kind of between, I was in my uh, third year. It was a five-year program. Um, that was, and you guys probably, do you guys know what Solidarity was? Mm -mm. Solidarity, Lech Wałęsa, the electrician at Gdańsk. This was the beginning of the end of the Soviet Union. It was basically mm. the Poles okay. stood up and spit in the face of the Russians. Um, also behind this, this very anti-Soviet movement, uh, was Ronald Reagan was the president and John Paul was the Pope. So it was driven by Reagan, the Pope and the Polish people. They just said, we've had enough of the Russians. It was crazy. There were strikes, there were riots. It was insane. I finally left the country. Basically, I, I drove out. Uh, most of the Americans had already left, but I just thought it was really cool to watch this whole social event take place. Um, they, uh, so I went out. The universities were closed because the students were obviously very active. I came back to the U.S., waited for the universities to open up again, which they did in February of the following the next year. This started in the fall. And um, went back, finished up. I was doing my senior project, and I was looking at uh, my project was looking at immune deficiencies in Arabian horses. <laughs>